Hi there, my name is Brian, and I recently started getting into food preservation with uh, my family. And in doing so, I decided to purchase this commercial chamber vacuum sealer. It's a VacMaster VP210. I've used one of these before in Alaska, packaging fish. And I decided that I wanted to use it to preserve foods that, uh, uh, that I'll be freeze drying and other types of foods. It's also good for cooking and a bunch of other things. You know, you can marinate meat, for example, and vacuum seal it and put it in the fridge or freeze it and it lasts a lot longer. So there's a lot of benefits of this. But one of the things that I'm focusing on is long-term food storage. So I have right now a, um, a freeze dryer on order. I should have it in a couple of weeks. And one of the questions arose in my mind, uh, and that was, can I uh, use within my chamber vacuum sealer the Mylar bags? And I've got, there's my dog over there. I've got a stack of these over here. These are five mil on each layer, so a total of 10 mil Mylar bags. This one happens to be a gallon. And just in comparison, these are the vacuum seal bags that I ordered. I got these off of Amazon. This is 200. I think I paid $17 for it. This is, I think, 20, and I paid $19 for these. But as you can see, if you've never used a Mylar bag, these are much thicker than uh, than a regular vacuum seal bag. And obviously, an advantage of Mylar is that it is not only waterproof, but it's also airtight and light tight. So with the freeze dry bags, you have a thinner bag, and it is waterproof and airtight, but it's not light tight. So. You know, I see a lot of uh, comments online from people that have differing opinions on whether or not you can use uh, freeze dry, excuse me, uh, vacuum seal bags for long-term food storage. I'm not going to argue that point today. For me, I want to make sure that I'm using the Mylar bags. So the question is, can I use my chamber vacuum sealer to seal the Mylar? So the first thing I wanted to do is a little test. They say that you can use the vacuum sealer for soups and liquids. So what I did just to start off with is I filled up this vacuum seal bag with a little bit of water and I want to vacuum seal it. So I only have one hand here so I'm going to pause this and open this up and put it in there. All right so as you can see I've got water in my vacuum seal bag. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and I've already got the settings on there correctly, and so I will close this, make sure that I'm over the, the heat bar as best as I possibly can. Go ahead and close this and get it started, and see how it goes. And you can see that my pressure is building. Actually, I should say the pressure is being sucked out of there. There we go, finally caught. So let you guys see how that works. So what's actually happening here is it's not sucking the air out of the bag, it's sucking the air out of the chamber. And now it's letting the air back in the chamber. And as you can see, it didn't quite get all the air out of the bag just because it's liquid and uh, I had that seal on it. But, uh, but still made a pretty good seal. So let's open this up. And I'll just come over to my sink and turn this upside down and as you can see it's sealed. Now, I did one of these already. This by the way is my spacer. I took it out just in case I spilled. But here's one that I did already and uh, that one did take all the air out and it worked just fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in this Mylar bag that I have over here over my dishwasher. It just so happens that my wife really likes chicharrones, and so I've got an open package of chicharrones right here that she was snacking on a little bit ago, and she put it in this Ziploc bag, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the Mylar, and then I'll uh, give it back to her. Alright, so just so that I can do this one-handed, I sort of set this bag up on its end, and I'm just going to plop some of these in there. And then I'm going to pause the camera 
and I'll use my other hand and dump the rest in. All right, so as you can see, I've got this bag full of chicharrones. And what I'm gonna do is place this now inside my vacuum sealer. All right, I still have my spacer out, that's just fine. I'm not, this, this has a little seal right here and I could hand seal it. I'm gonna leave it open because I want it to suck the air out of this bag. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my bar. This bar has two wires in it, so it's actually gonna seal it twice. But I'm gonna line up my bar so the tabs are right at the end of this. And I apologize for the lack of professionality on this video. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and turn it off and back on. All right, I'm gonna to go to set. Now what we have here is we have ceiling, we have gas, excuse me, we have vacuum, gas, ceiling, and cooling. What I wanna do is I wanna change this to ceiling and I need to increase it from one second to three seconds, which is the max. All right, I'm gonna return it to set and I've still got my bag lined up. Now, since the Mylar is thicker, I really need the maximum amount of time on that bar. So let's go ahead and close this. Now with mine, I gotta press it down a little bit. But you can see, I'm starting to create the vacuum and it is sucking the air out of that chamber, including the bag. Just watch it operate here. Here's my dog Leo. Now sealing it. Now this door just pops open. All right. Now as you can see, there is no air in that bag. There's my two seals. A little bit warm, but not hot. I still have the tear tab here, so I can open this up if I want to. And now she has nicely sealed chicharrones. And I'll take that up and give it to her. There you go. So this chamber vacuum sealer, a VacMaster VP210, will seal both Mylar and vacuum seal bags.